First of all, we'd like to commend and acknowledge all our speakers and panels who have been, you know, very, uh, the drive that you all have and the determination uh, to also make a stand for all of us here, Malaysians. But the thing is, I believe that we shouldn't just rely on all of you. We ourselves should also put in the effort to make the difference. You know, the more people there are, then at least the stronger we will be. So the thing is this, my question would be, if let's say there are people like us who like to make that change, but we are not interested in politics at all, so where should we go to, you know, in order to at least get some inspiration or get some ideas? You know, I, I've heard many people, oh, they have this idea, that idea, it's great, their ideas, and we're not giving up hope. But sometimes these ideas might not be the right ones. Then we might end up running around like a headless chicken. You see? So if there is somewhere that we can go to to find these ideas, and perhaps, you know, then we will, you know, like, it's like a call for action. For instance, nowadays if you look at social media, a lot of people, I think, are, I think they are, they find it very entertaining. When they receive a message, straight away they will send to others. And a lot of them are more of uh, what's not good about this person, what's not good about this government or about the party. But how about, what can we do? You see, it's not really there that I'm seeing right now. So I hope that there'll be more of that. Thank you. I'm glad to see so many of you here and you know, the, the, and that, that, yeah, I know, you know the sitting, sitting here until about 11. I, I, I think that's, that's where the hope is really. Um, the, you know, it's not the, the few of us who are sitting up here. Really, it's all of you who are sitting down there. And I think, you know, the, the, it doesn't really matter in terms of what you do. I think it, had, it doesn't have to be politics. It doesn't have to be anything, really. I think what is important is that if you, each of you do something. It can be, you know, something uh, in your neighborhood, whatever it is, you know, the, the, um, something, that, the, the, something that's related to your jobs, whatever it is. So I think it's important that each of us, you know, each, all of us actually do something. And hopefully, the little bit that we do will contribute to the greater whole. And that's when change will happen. You can do three things, really, for me. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, you can sort of offer a brain trust for the politicians. You don't have to take part in politics. You can offer your ideas to people like Tony Kwa. He's so busy uh, diligently writing press statements to us to 2, 3 a.m. in the morning, all this research. I think uh, the MPs, uh, and he, he knows this, and he, see, they need research done. If you're a professional, you have time to spare, you have computing power to spare, go to your favorite MP or your favorite party and, and contribute your time. That's one thing you can do. The second thing you can do, which is more important than the first thing, is to keep all of us honest. To keep us journalists honest, politicians honest, the civil service honest. Uh, and as I mean, I said, write to them, talk to them, not to the extent of throwing red paint at the door. I mean, that's a bit too much. You're contributing to the economy, of course, by buying red paint. But you know, take more than that, right? And the third thing is, as everybody said, don't give up hope. Uh, Tony Park came back from Singapore. Uh, he could have stayed on there and done business. Um, uh, Stephen Guy came back from Australia to be a journalist here. I was away for a while. There's so many of us here who are away for a while. I'm just gratified that that we have. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen who are, who are in the 60s, 70s, 80s here, uh, young kids here, all here for one reason, and that's for a better Malaysia. And, and no better reason than to do that, because you want a better country for your children, for your grandchildren, and for yourself. Right? And, and, and make sure that the debt of 42 billion and all the other debts are cleared away so that your kids, your grandchildren, do not have to pay for the fact that some of us let this go without calling them out on it. So we have to do it now, right? Thank you very much. So between now and the next general election, my, my last uh, sentence would be, we form among ourselves a coalition of minds. A coalition of minds. That we are together in a struggle for a better Malaysia. Do it your own way, whichever way you choose. Whichever party you choose, 
Whichever party you may jump to choose. <laughs> and whatever that you choose is your choice. Brothers and sisters, give a big hand to all the parties.